this is Pete, um, bringing you guys the In The Box review and um, the first look at the Starmax uh, FA18 Hornet uh, electric ducted fan, okay? This puppy is ready to fly out of the box, basically means that everything's included. You got your transmitter, four channel transmitter, um, your uh, lithium polymer battery, your uh, charger, and the aircraft. Everything is included in the box. Um, so minimal assembly required, and you're flying an electric ducted fan, which is an F-18. This is freaking hey awesome. Hey guys, this is Pete with BananaHobby.com. Back here with you guys again. We're going to open up this F-18 uh, electric ducted fan, uh, electric ducted fan jet. We're going to see what's in the box here, and um, see what we got. All right, so let's open her up here. Bear with me, guys. I've never opened this yet, so I'm not sure what to expect here, but I am excited. Okay, this is nice. Okay, it comes pre-packed. Looks like an, like an egg carton style um, base here. Slides right out. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. See what this is all about here. <laughs> I haven't even opened it. I can't even find out where the opening is. Might have to cut this open here. So check it out, guys. This is your FA-18. Really nice packaging here, guys. Everything is nice and secure. Um, not going to bob around when uh, we go ahead and ship this thing to you. Um, everything's included. Hardware package. Everything's in here. So we're going to open this up and take a look. Uh, first thing that came out is, uh, check it out. You got your decal set. Okay, it's already pre-cut here. It looks like it just came right outside of the slid right out box here. You got the Navy scheme here. The VFA-103 squadron. Looks nice. Can't wait to get this thing on here. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And I was right. This is this is what I mean. It's sealed. So you know I haven't opened this yet. And that's what I like about it because I get to look at it for the first time and you get to look at it for the first time. So we get to share this experience together. Uh, on a side note here guys, this is this is the silver version. Okay, this is the uh, the navy, the naval account, the naval version of it, which is silver and black with black winglets, I believe. We have two versions of this. We have the um, the F A eighteen the VAF, uh, the VFA-103 squadron, this version, and we have the Blue Angel scheme, uh, which is what's pictured on here. The uh, FA-18, back when um, the Blue Angels used this for uh, their demo squad, their demo team, I think they're still using this as their uh, demo aircrafts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here and see what we find here. So here we have the pre-package FA-18 available from BananaHobby.com. This is ready to fly, once again, um, electric ducted fan jet. Okay, this is the way you want to get started in ducted fan flying. If you got any kind of flying experience, okay, this is tons of fun. Everything, one box, ready to go. Okay, you can opt for a uh, plug and play package without the transmitter and receiver if you choose at a lesser cost, or you can get the whole package deal here. Everything included. Um, you know, spend a little bit of time here putting it together, and you're on the field here. All right, let's go ahead and first thing, let's check out the wings here. Nice, very nice silver finish on the main wings. Um, it's um, this uh, heavy duty, I think it's poly polystyrene foam. So it's very durable, very, very light, okay? Very scale looking um, paint scheme here. Everything is ready to go. Um, everything's cut out already. Your ailerons, pre-hinged, pre-glued. Um, looks like all you got to do is mount the control horn on here that goes to your servo and you're good to go. So we're going to set these aside here. We have your horizontal stabilizers, elevators, pre-hinged, pre-glued, ready to go as well. Very nice. And here we have your vertical stabilizers. Okay, black, yellow wingtips, already painted. Beautiful color finish, real nice matte color, uh, very scale looking. Uh, keep in mind, this is four channel. There are no rudder control on this aircraft because of the size, it's not really needed. Uh, the fourth channel basically is a steerable nose wheel, okay? So you don't need a uh, rudder in this size of an aircraft. Yeah, you fly with the ailerons just fine. You won't even know that it's uh, missing, actually. Put this aside. Okay, next here, we have the main part of the fuselage here. The main body, which is beautiful. I don't even want to cut this open so you guys can see here. Um, very nice construction. Uh, the detail, the attention to detail on the paint scheme, already painted. 
Um, you got your ducts in the back here. You know, I got to open the fuse here to show you guys. This quality is just unbelievably nice here. Kid like a kid in a candy store over here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this aside here. Check that out, guys. That is nice. That finish is beautiful. I love it. Um, you got your uh, elevator servos pre-mounted. The horn's already on it. Um, this is your wire for your antenna for your receiver. Uh, this is the compartment right here for your lithium polymer battery. You got your ESE already in here. Uh, let's look here to see what that is here. Um, it is a 25 amp, okay? 25 amp brushless electronic speed control. Uh, that's going to a brushless in-runner motor. Is it an in-runner? Yeah. It's a 14L brushless in-runner to a EDF, I think it's like a 62. I'm not too sure about the ductive fan size here. Yeah, it doesn't say here. I gotta have to take a look at that. But it is a EDF, I think about 60 to 62 ductive fan. It's beautiful. Okay, everything's already pre-mounted. Ductive fan units already inside. Um, minimal assembly, like I said, everything's already plugged in and you're good to go. And the ailerons are on, on um, push rods right here. They're going to be put on by, I believe, uh, um, Setsu clips, and uh, that'll function the ailerons, but we're going to have to explore that a little bit more, a little bit here. And that's your main portion of the fuse. Here we have the nose portion of the fuselage, um, pre-painted. you got your nose piece already mounted on there, nose gear, steerable. Look at that. Twin nose gear wheels for scale appearance here. Okay, you got two nose wheels on it. That's sweet. Back to back here. Steerable nose wheel. Um, super nice here. Everything's plug and play, ready to go. You got your uh, cockpit cover um, canopy here. Very nice. Put that aside here. And you got your exterior drop tanks for the wing tips if you choose to mount them on there. Um, or if you choose not to. Actually, I think these go on the bottom. I think these are bombs for drop tanks. One or the other. Okay, so that's nice. Hardware package, you got your main wheels, you got your control horns in here, um, clevises, push rods, everything is in this package. So that's nice and that's good to go here. Here we have your lithium polymer battery. Um, it's got your banana plugs already mounted on there, balance port already, already mounted. It is a uh, 1300 3S3 cell, 11.1 .1 volt, um, 1300 milliamp lithium polymer pack. I believe it's a 15C discharge rate. Kind of a small airplane, so it don't need like crazy discharge rate. Perfect setup for that. Remember guys, lithium polymer batteries, okay? Uh, you don't want to charge this thing unintended. Always make sure you're around when you charge this thing. Don't charge it and go to bed. Don't charge it to go out to dinner and stuff like that. Keep an eye on it while it's on the charger. Uh, make sure that it's not overheating. Check it from time to time. And uh, make sure everything is in proper function here. Just make sure, mainly make sure that it's not overheating and stuff like that. If there's any heat to it, feel like it's it's getting warm or like that. Um, sorry guys, got a lighting malfunction back there. Be right back, okay? We have your basic four channel um, FM transmitter. Very nice. Throttle, rudder, and uh, aileron and elevator. You got your servo reversing. Very simple. External trim. Um, lighting, tell you what's, you know powered and stuff like that and you're good to go very nice little package here like I said once again you're uh, you can opt for without the transmitter and receiver and um, it'd be uh, a little bit less uh, if you would choose for the plug-and-play package and add your own transmitter and receiver and uh, once again uh, full tech support for this item for these airplanes aircrafts everything that you see in the videos that I perform that I show you guys here uh, the full tech support is only available from bananahobby.com this wraps this uh, this episode of In the Box of the FA-18, if you got any questions, check us out at www.bananahobby.com or you can email us and I'll see you guys flying on the field. Happy flights, guys.